everybody, so I decided I wanted to do a review slash, um, so I wanted to do a review on these two BB creams, okay, so let's say Battle of the BB Creams, I'm pretty sure there's tons of these videos, but because I have such strong feelings, I had to do one as well. Um, for me, okay, wait, let me start here. In case you guys don't know what a BB cream is, basically it is a beauty blemish balm. So it's supposed to have, um, you know, ingredients that will help your skin instead of just, you know, clogging your pores type thing. So it's more like a tinted moisturizer, but better, if that makes sense. Anyways, um... These are the two that I am comparing. Um, I'm sure you've heard lots about this one. It's the Garnier Skin Renew um, Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. My favorite. And then this is the Marcel BB Cream um, Skin Enhancer. So, okay, let's start with this one. This one says the ultimate multitasking skin enhancer, lightweight moisturizer with adaptive pigments to even out and brighten skin tone. Formulated with powerful antioxidants, aloe vera, and chamomile to help protect and improve skin's appearance. Apply only on cleansed face, can be worn alone or as makeup base. Okay, and this one doesn't say on here. I'm not sure if this one has SPF. Um, and this one... I don't understand, really don't understand, because neither of them say anything about SPF on them, but I'm pretty sure the Garnier has an SPF of 15 or something like that. Um, I am really not sure if this one does or not, I have not heard much about that, but this one apparently does, so yay. Um, on this one it says instant all-in-one innovation, renews, brightens, hydrates for 24 hours, I don't know about that, but it also evens and um, it says here gently apply the Miracle Skin Perfector to face and neck for instant correction and coverage. Okay, one thing about BB creams which I think when I first um, gave them a shot, um, I was a little like, uh, this is strange because they are very watery in a sense. Um, not that they, okay, not that they come out watery. Because as you can see, okay, maybe if I do it this way, hopefully you guys can see here. I want you to see the texture. See, it doesn't come out very watery, but I feel when you blend it, them, they end up being very, like, cream. They're very creamy, but yet they're very watery. I don't know. It's very strange. They are, um, I would say a little bit difficult to blend, okay? So, um, you gotta be prepared for them, I think, because it's very different for me. I don't know, I found them very, very different and strange in the beginning. And honestly, when I first got, I got a sample of the Garnier uh, BB cream and I tried it and hated it. Hated, hated, hated it was not happy with it at all, but um, then I sort of was like, well, maybe it's just me because I heard all these amazing reviews about it, and um, yeah, so I thought, okay, let me give it a shot. I picked one up, a full size, in hopes that I'm going to enjoy it, and I actually did really, really enjoy it, and um, yeah, so, okay, let me show you the texture of this one, if possible. Maybe this one will be easier pumping onto the hand. So this one's a little less on the, like, comes out of the bottle in chunks. But again, this one is even waterier, I find. And um, it almost seems to blend into my hand a lot better. Maybe because I didn't have a lot on. But I find there, I don't know if you guys can even tell, there is more of a glow and sh um, dewiness to the Garnier BB cream. That might, you know, explain the whole, it's a little watery, um, 
you know, the texture might explain why it gives such a dewier look as opposed to the Marcel one. The Marcel one I find is just... I, I really don't like it. I, I mean, it's a heck of a lot more expensive, I think. Well, not a heck of a lot more, but it is more expensive. And, um, it's just not me. I really don't like it. I don't like the uh, texture. Um, it smells... The Garnier one does have... But this one has a, like, foundation-y type of smell. It smells like foundation. You know how foundation smells, if that makes any sense. Whereas the Garnier one actually has a scent of, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it does have a scent to it. Um, not overpowering, not crazy, nothing really, you know, that's going to drive you over the edge. It smells great to me. Um, and once it's on your face, you know, you don't really smell it, but I do like smelling my makeup, so when I understand foundations don't usually smell that great, but this is a BB cream, so I was expecting better from this. Um, just all over this BB cream did not impress me. Putting it on, I found it blending was just horrible. Um, everything about it was horrible. I'm so glad that I got this for free because I had actually received a sample size of this as well. And again, I did not like it. I was like, no, compared to this, I did not like it. So because by the time I got a sample of this, I had already purchased this and was using this. And, um, yeah, and then I tried this, and I was like, oh, no, 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 this is terrible. But, um, it wasn't in medium to dark. It was in the light, um, spectrum. So I thought, okay, maybe it's because it's not my color. It looks stupid, right? But, um, no, it was just the formulation. It was just the way it applied to my face. It felt, um... A little more gooier, not gooier, stickier, and like, I don't like the formulation at all. Um, it is hypoallergenic, I don't, it says that on here. I'm not sure about this. I'm assuming probably is, but um, I just overall really, really love the Garnier BB cream and would highly recommend it. When set with a powder, it works wonders. I usually use this and I set it with my um, e.l.f. Uh, high definition powder. I've been using that quite a bit lately with this and it just works so nicely. I've also been taking this and um, mixing it with a little bit of this um, Faro um, Dewy Glowy Skin Sheer Crystal Veil, which is just like a little highlight powder. So when you mix it in, you know, it really gives you that dewy, glowy look, and I really like that. And um, But I've noticed with this BB cream, which is why I love it, you get that glowy, dewy look to start with. Although it is not, you know, pigmented to be dewy, glowy, whatever. It's just, you know... But, um, with this, it's sort of, like, maybe this would work better for those people who enjoy the whole, like, matte, 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 matte finish. Um, but even still, I do like a matte finish, but also, and, um, it's just the formulation. It is how it goes on my face that I do not like it. So, I'm very disappointed by this. Mind you, I am in love with Marcel because they have a... Um, their mascara, the... What is it? Oh, it's the Extension Plus Mascara is amazing! So, obviously doing something really, really good in the mascara industry, but the BB cream for me is a no, 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 no. It's just horribly formulated for me, and it does not work with my skin. Might work with other people's skin, but for me, it is a no, no. No, 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 no. So... Um, that was my little review there. I mean, I hope it helps somewhat. Um, if you guys have any questions about them, let me know. Um, I can do a little more research. I'll have a blog post probably on this, you know, the Battle of the BB Creams. Little blog post, and, um, maybe there I'll answer a few more questions that you might have or concerns or whatever.
But I did want to get a little review up because I haven't done like any reviews or anything. So um, I wanted to be able to post a video on, um, you know, a little review. So I thought the best thing would be these BB creams. I know summer is coming to an end and I don't know how many people will use uh, the BB cream. But um, as the Marcel one said, you can use them as a base. And I find if you use them as a base um, for your foundation and such... Um, if you're using this one, you will have, basically, this is like your tinted moisturizer. It moisturizes so well. This one hydrates really well. Like it says, hydrates 24 hours, but, um, not really for 24 hours. Um, but again, amazing, amazing stuff. Guys, pick it up if you haven't already, because it is worth the $15 or whatever it is. It is so worth it. It is amazing. This is not to me, worth the 20-something dollars or whatever it is. Um, no, not for me. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the down bar. If you have any video requests, I am looking for some requests. So please let me know of the requests down below. Um, you know, makeup tutorials, you know, tags, whatever it be, let me know down below. And if you have any requests for reviews, you know, let me know. <laughs> and I uh, also have a giveaway going on on my blog. Please go and check that out. It is coming to an end, I believe, next week. So if you are interested, go check that out. It's 19 plus, so um, keep that in mind. And you can find that link down below. And yeah, please go check me out on Instagram, Facebook, um, my blog. Go follow me everywhere. I am about everywhere. So yeah, talk to you guys later.